Hello everyone, my name is Sonia. Today we are going to discuss about clinical proteomics, metaproteomics and human health. Clinical proteomics. Proteomics holds much promise for the diagnosis and treatment of human diseases and has a large role to play in the future of medicine. Genomics and proteomics of human diseases. Genetics and genomics have been used successfully to identify disease causing genes, their chromosomal locations and DNA sequences and the proteins controlled by these genes have also been identified. Methods of somatic cell genetics, cytogenetics and translocation mapping have been used to establish the chromosomal location of the disease causing genes. Genomics has helped in determining the DNA sequence of a gene and in identifying the protein underlying these human diseases. Both the methods of classic genetics and that of genomics have been used to determine whether a disease is caused by a single gene or by multiple genes in a conjunction with the environmental factors. Genomics has also made us understand why a defective gene controls a disease with a varying degree of expression or why a defective gene is expressed only in a certain number of individuals and not in others. This explanation has been derived by identifying the role of other genes in human genome that modify the expression of disease causing genes through gene interactions. Several diseases are caused by one defective gene producing one defective protein for example sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. Proteomics has shown why a mutation in a single gene leads to multiple effects via a change in the protein interaction pathway which controls a particular metabolic pathway. The multiple effects also result from a change in a particular pathway on the function of other metabolic pathways. Several diseases such as high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol and many cardiovascular and neurological disorders are controlled by many genes in conjunction with the environmental factors. The science of proteomics is revealing the role of the multiple gene basis of diseases and the role of environmental factors by identifying the roles of different proteins and their interactions in metabolic pathways. Proteomics is useful to understand the biochemical basis of a disease as well as uh, diagnosis and treatment of a disease. Proteomics of Diagnostic Markers and Drug Development Proteomics is crucial in understanding the cause and management of a disease because proteins can be used both as biomarker and as target of a drug. The idea that proteins can be used as biomarkers for human diseases began with the discovery of a protein by Henry Benz Johns in 1847. Later, this protein was called Benz Johns protein. It was identified by Kyle in 1994 as a free antibody light chain that is produced in excess by tumors. Because of its smaller size, this protein can pass through the kidney and appears in the urine of cancer patients who suffer from myeloma. This protein was also found in the serum of myeloma patients. Soon, an immunodiagnostic test was developed to measure the level of this protein in cancer patients. This test has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration and used routinely to diagnose myeloma patients or to monitor the efficiency of a drug treatment in patients by measuring the level of Benz Johns protein. This protein decreases as the patient's conditions improves in response to a particular drug treatment. This table shows list of proteins approved by the FDA as biomarkers of human diseases. Proteins have been used as drugs for many diseases or have been targets of several drugs. Insulin is the classic example of a protein used as drug to control the level of blood sugar in persons with diabetes. 
Blood clotting factor and immunoglobulins are good examples of using as protein as a drug. Drugs that influence the level of a protein called leptin can be used to treat obesity. Gleevec, which is a specific inhibitor of kinase involved in the cell cycle, has been used effectively to treat certain cancers. Likewise, Herceptin has been used to treat cancer patients. Drug development is a branch of science that involves the use of genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, bioinformatics, structural chemistry including X-ray crystallography, synthetic chemistry, pharmacology, microbiology, biotechnology and medical sciences. The first step in the development of a drug requires the identification of cause of the disease which can be readily done by genomics, proteomics and metabolomics. Genomics can pinpoint the cause of disease by identifying the defective gene underlying a particular disease. Proteomics can pinpoint the defective protein and its nature. Metabolomics can throw light on the biochemical interaction of genes and can show how the protein products of genes have been disrupted in a particular disease. Metabolomics can also pinpoint the disruption in metabolic pathways caused by certain environmental factors, even in organisms without any genetic effects. Thus, understanding the nature of proteins and their interaction are the keys to understanding the cause of a disease and to finding drug for the cure of the disease. Proteins themselves are the cause of a disease, drugs for the disease or target for the drugs used to treat the disease. Proteomics is crucial to understand a disease and its treatment. Bioinformatics is used in the design of drugs and in their final selection as a drug candidate which is then used for biochemical and toxicological tests in model animal system and then in human before its approval by the FDA because of the complexity of the situation and the multiple lines of approach involved in several branches of science. Drug development is a lengthy process costing several millions of dollars over a period of several years. Proteomics and Personalized Medicine before the advances in genomics and proteomics, most human diseases were treated based on the approach of one size fits all. For example, today most cancer patients are subjected to a regimen of treatment involving surgery, radiation and chemotherapy. However, with the advances in molecular biology, there is a better understanding of the metabolic basis of cancer. As a result of these developments, it has been possible to treat certain cancer patients with specific drugs like Thamosifen, Gleevec, Herceptin, Aromatase inhibitors based on the nature of cancerous formation. With the advances in genomics and proteomics, it is possible to predict the drug response of a patient. It is also possible to select a drug with the at least number of undesirable side effects. Proteomics of Obesity Obesity is the one of the major human health problems in the world. Obesity usually leads to diabetes, heart and other cardiovascular problems. It has been shown that human muscle cells or myocytes are differentiated into white fat cells that store the fat and into brown fat cells that act as a sink for sugar molecules in our body and burn fats. The brown fat cells are rich in mitochondria which possess iron that gives these cells the brownish tinge. As we grow, we lose brown fat cells which leads to obesity. Bruce Spingelman and his group have identified two proteins that are responsible for the differentiation of fat cells from myocytes and from fibroblasts as well. Of these proteins, one is identified and characterized as 140 kilodalton zinc finger protein. Spingelman group has experimentally shown that brown fat cells are formed when this zinc finger protein is activated in 
fibroblast metabolomics metabolomics is the study of the metabolites metabolites are produced as the intermediary and end products of a biochemical reaction in a metabolic pathways carried by a proteins genomics transcriptomics and proteomics can only suggest the possibilities of gene action but cannot determine the occurrence and the extent of the gene actions metabolomics provides the true measure of the gene actions metabolomics is also useful in determining the toxic effects of a substance and it's of a great value in toxicology it is also useful for probing into the adverse effects of drugs and for using as a marker for the diseases metabolites are found in the body fluids such as urine saliva and plasma with the application of mass spectrometry or nmr in conjunction with liquid chromatography a data bank of metabolites has been established for humans and plants metaproteomics and human health As a result of advances in genomics the DNA sequences of many microorganisms that are available as pure cultures in laboratory are known the DNA sequences of these cultured microorganisms and and the encoded proteins are assembled in the gene banks and in protein data banks the metagenomics of microorganisms is advanced and has been a great aid in the taxonomy of microbial species and the assignments of a protein as soon as it is identified by proteomics to a particular microbial species however the metaproteomics of microorganism has just begun to use 2d gel and spectrometric methods the study of metaproteomics is more important than that of metagenomics the study of metagenomics only shows the presence of a gene but the mere presence of a gene does not ensure its expression which controls the manifestation of phenotype the study of metaproteomics is important because many microorganisms exist in symbiotic relationship with the human body currently metaproteomics is the only way to understand the different metabolic pathways and their interactions among themselves as well as with the biochemistry of the host which leads to the determination of particular phenotype some examples of this include human gut microbiome human oral flora and the urinary community of microorganisms thank you